Yo, what is up YouTube? This is Pure Kicks, back again with another comparison video. And in today's video, we're looking at the Adidas Harden Volume 3 versus the Adidas Pro Bounce 2018. Let's get it. First things first, huge, huge thank you to the lovely people over at Pro Direct Basketball for sending both of these through. We really appreciate their love. Lots we're very appreciative of that love. So thank you. If you want the Pro Bounce or the Harden Volume 3s, they are both available right now on the Pro Direct website. So check out the link below, hit up Pro Direct, and they've got you. Before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and comment down below any thoughts you may have about the Pro Bounce or the Harden or about this comparison. And of course, let us know what comparisons you guys look forward to as well. And also, follow us on our socials at This Is Pure Kicks. Now this is very, very, very important because Timmy and I love to show love. What we mean by that is we do giveaways whenever we can. Currently, we are running a giveaway on our Twitter account. Not gonna talk too much about it, but we are giving away two copies of 2K Playgrounds 2. Just said don't talk too much, you shout out for some reason. And if you wanna win those games, you need to follow us on Twitter and retweet our giveaway tweet. We previously ran a giveaway on Instagram. We gave away a Carrie Irving jersey. It's in your best interest. That's all I'm saying. Thank you. Now, getting into the comparison of both of these shoes. On one hand, we have the Adidas Pro Bus 2018, which did an absolute madness. I believe this is Adidas's flagship shoe oh, because it's just destroyed the game. On the other hand, we have the Harden Volume 3. Now, James Harden has been balling out of his mind. There was a 10 game stretch where the dude was averaging 40 points plus a game. Oof. Absolutely stupid. Is it the shoes though? Is it the shoes? Let's find out. Let's find out. Enough talking. So getting started with the usual, talking about aesthetics. Now, the Harden Volume 3 goes hard. It's a painting. It goes really hard. This is the Mission 13, I believe. Yep. And then we've got the Voyager in the grey. There's a few other colours, I don't know the names of them, but there's a black colourway going. There's reds, I don't know, there's, men, there's mad colours, but they all look fantastic. I mean, I think it's a clean silhouette. The shape's nice. Very clean. Very, very clean. But the problem is, everything I just said applies to the Pro Bounce too. So there's colorways, they all look clean, they look mean. We've said it in our performance review, if you haven't seen that already. I'm just, I'm just, it's a Pro thing. It's a Pro thing. Now moving on to the traction of both of these shoes over here in the Pro 2018, we have the circular ripple water traction pattern, which absolutely did its thing. It was a little bit inconsistent on dusty courts, but it didn't matter, especially the wipe the traction pattern. The traction did its thing. It was really, really good. Over on this side in the Harden Volume 3, we've got that herringbone traction pattern, somewhat modified, multi-directional. Yep. But we've actually got it with a solid and a translucent rubber as well. Now, do they work hand in hand? They shouldn't, but they do. Little inconsistencies at time. It's for like the stickiness of the translucent is getting in the way of the hard rubber and when you're talking outdoors and indoors and things of that nature but it did do the trick. It yeah. did feel really, really nice. It was pretty consistent across those. Wiping was the case, it's yeah. the same as well. Now for me, it's a Harden thing. It's a hard, I hear you. I like the fact that they experimented with adding different yeah. compounds on the um, traction pattern, but the bite was nowhere near as I amazing as the Pro Bounce, man. I do hear that. Bite is huge when we're talking about Bite is huge. Just alone. So, and how often do you really want to wipe your hands or wipe the traction You're wiping on that one too. Yeah, but not as much as those, bro. I hear that. Yeah, I mean, not as much as those. I mean, you have the hardens in your hand, and you know, I know you want to back them, but it's the pro It's not I'm trying to back them, it's just, they banged, bro. I know, hard is your guy. But I don't know why. I ain't gonna lie. Because I'm not gonna lie. Ooh! The pro bounce did it again. Hey! <laughs> pro bounce did it. <laughs> Moving swiftly on into cushion. Now, this is a hard one. So tough. So, so tough. This is a bit mad.
So we've mentioned it many times on the channel before, but we finally have it in hand again. Yep. It's Boost versus Bounce. And they go hard. It's like best renditions of both. But you're asking me to choose between my favorite kids. Like I hear that. I can't really give you an answer, my guy. I can't give an answer out loud, you know yeah, what? Yeah, I don't have my favorite kid. I do. I just can't tell the other kid or yeah, the other kid. They can't know. They can't know. Yeah. But I do have a favorite kid. Now why Boost just ticks every box for everyone? Mm. Do you know what I mean? Especially in the hard. Especially in the hard. It's yeah. fine tuned over here. Pff, extremely fine tuned. They fine tuned it in the Pro Bounce 2 in that they round did. though. The only thing with the Pro Bounce though is that the impact protection is nowhere near as good as the Harden, in my opinion. Do you agree? I agree to a degree. Mm -hmm. Bars, but I hear what you mean. I mean, court feel is amazing. Court feel. Especially us as guards, court feel is something we definitely need in a shoe. Big facts. Do you know what I mean? But we can't be subjective. We have to look outside the box. I will go one more. Yeah. Durability. Durability. Again. Boost is not bottoming out on no one. Nobody. And if it does, it's been a minute. You need yeah. to get a new pair of shoes. Yeah, for sure. So, all in all, I guess it has to go to the Harden, isn't it? It's a Harden team. I don't want to, though. I don't, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I mean, you do. You're Team Harden. I'm not Team I am. I'm looking Team Harden. Yeah, it's Team Harden. Oh, it's a but... great documentary on earlier. It was fantastic. Next up, talking about the materials in both shoes, over here in the Pro Bounce 2018, we have Engineered Mesh backed up with Adidas's forge fiber material, and this was absolutely sexy. It wow. felt so good. So breaking time minimal out it, of the box. It was good breaking time. I remember putting them on, it was a snug fit. Oh. First 10 minutes run around? Not I'm even. Good. Not even 10 minutes. I'm good. Oh, mate, so good. Fam. They smashed it. Yeah, smashed it. Now, talking about the Harden, mm -hmm. we've got a textile mesh throughout yep. and an elastic band across the forefoot for yep. that fit. Did the trick. Yep. Did the trick. They also felt really good. Super minimal breaking time. Yep. Sock like feeling. They were snug, but they weren't too snug. The elastic band did its thing. Mm -hmm. It did its thing. But not for very long. Yeah, not for very long. That's the issue I had. Yeah. It was the same thing about 10 minutes in. I'm feeling this starting to loosen up. Mm, you don't want that. And now I put them on every time, they're still loosened up. So I'm just like, the frustration is there. It's been alright. Hmm? I'm blessed, man. What are you saying? I'm good, bro. I'm good. Who does the point go to, my guy? It's a pro bounce thing, isn't it? It's a pro bounce thing again. Pro bounce! Pro -bounce. <laughs> 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 Moving on to fit in both shoes, the Harder Volume 3 fits like a glove. I'm blessed, man. Do your thing, my guy. I'm doing my thing, man. I don't know. Okay. Okay. It fits extremely well. Breaking time was minimal. It felt like a sock. Yes, the durability, as I mentioned in the last one, maybe not as long as I'd like it to fit the way it did. But it did feel really good, even without the elastic doing its thing. For sure. Felt really, really nice. Lesson system is also quite basic, yep. but traditional and does the trick. You do feel yourself snug, nicely inside the shoe. So great fitting shoe on this side. Now, talking about fit in the pro bounce. <laughs> I've got two shoes on your side though. Now, where do I even begin? The fit of the shoe is part of the experience of the shoe, Tim. Damn, we're taking it to experience. The lacing system is designed in such a special way that if you decide, like myself, to lace the shoe up from the bottom all the way to the top, pulling part, each part of the lacing system, you'll feel something that I don't think you felt in many shoes. I hear that. And it feels incredible. Each part of the shoe, because of the lacing system, conforms to your foot and it feels absolutely incredible. Boy, especially yes. in the high, because this GeoFit thing in the ankle he area, point. He has a point. we lace that up. He has a point. Oh my God. He has a point. Like a glove, I can't even front. It's so good. That is a pretty sexy glove. It's so good to me. I mean, the point has to go to the pro bounce, man. Mm. It has to. I mean, you're fighting, you're thinking hard, but unfortunately- No, I don't know, bro. It's nice. I'm it's, I know it is. It's, it's more than clean, nice. bro. It's more it has than the nice. It had the word fit in it. I think called saying nice is, is a complete understatement. And you know it. I do. I love you. I love you. Know. Now, yeah, so, who does the point go to my guy? Why are you going to make me say it? Who does the point go to my guy? 
No, I don't, why have I got to say it? It's the last time I'm going to ask you this question, my guy. Who's the point to go to? It's for about two. For about two. Next up, talking about the fit in both these shoes. Support, bro. Next up. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, talking about support. Over here in the Pro Bounce, what we have is the overall fit of the shoe, which I spoke about was absolutely amazing, provides brilliant lockdown. We have almost this double outrigger, which is amazing, amazing for lateral support. This internal TPU heel counter, again, you have your ankle stability and make sure your heel is locked in. And over here in the high top shoe, we have the GeoFit ankle collar, which again provides the ankle support. And it's more than what you need in a basketball shoe. And what it provides is support, without you having to worry about the shoe being supportive, lace them up, you can. Over here in the Harder Volume 3, we've got that elastic band I spoke about earlier. Yep. Didn't hold up for as long as we'd like it to, but it's there and it does help a little bit. The outrigger shape as well, the internal heel counter, and then the overall fit of the shoe does its trick. It does its thing. It does its thing. Yep. The Harden itself, designed for James himself, James yep. Harden, I don't know why I call him James, I can't know him, so if that's a Mr. Harden. Yep is about free flowing, what's the word, unorthodox play. Yeah. So him and his ankle do not get along. He could care less about his ankle. He doesn't care. They're taped up anyway. Yep. He hasn't taped and then he does whatever he likes on the court. Now for us regular folk, we're gonna need something. We need something. This might be the lowest shoe I've ever played in. Even though it doesn't even look it, but you can see it does really dip. So there's a big part missing when we're talking this mm -hmm. area of the shoe. Inside mm -hmm. is pretty good but there's a lot missing. People say there's science around the ankle locked in and does it, does ankle support even mean anything? High top, low top. It does, I don't care what no one says, it's a thing. So yeah, support it's a, it's was a, good. It's a thing for you, my guy. It's a thing, bro. I don't it's care not what no one thing. says, it's, it's a thing. It's a thing for you. It's, I'm not about to get into it, we don't have enough time in this video. All right. It's a thing. The reason I say it's a thing is because it's a thing. It's actually, it's basic, but I can't get really get into it. It's a thing, bro. It's a thing. I don't know if you guys agree, you guys should let us know in the comment section yes. below if this thing is a thing for you too, because it's not a thing for me. Let us know in the comment section below. Thing. The thing, bro. Now, I think it's a no-brainer to me. I'm not gonna ask you who the point goes to. Okay. I'm just gonna say it. Okay. The point goes to the pro bounce. I agree. Because he has to. No, because I have to too. I have good points on this side, yeah? Now last and definitely not least, talking about the price slash value in both of these shoes. Now the Pro Bounce retails in the UK for £90. I'm not going to say how much this shoe retails for. To me, I want you to say it. Why just give me just give me three seconds. Let me just prepare myself because just okay, say, say the price. £140. My head. <laughs> Bro, but it's a signature. Wait, say it again. £140. Oh my god. It's a signature, it's James Harden. It's got boost in it. <laughs> is it? <laughs> Why you laughing like that? It got boost in it. Is this is 140 in it? £140, my guy. It's 140 in it, but it's just. £140. Wrong, it's not cheap, no. I'm not saying it's cheap. I ain't got it like that first off. A hundred and forty pounds. We've seen worse, bro. Oh my goodness. We've seen a lot worse. That for me is disgusting. Wow. I don't think any basketball shoe should be priced more than a hundred and twenty max. You say wow. A hundred and forty pounds. hundred and forty pounds. That's crazy to me. hurt by this. That's crazy to me. I'm hurt. My head hurts. I need water. Fine. Whoa, that's crazy, man. That's what I really got to deal with. Don't we finish this video, <laughs> So we're just gonna get to the point. I mean, it goes to the program, flows, heads hurting. Goes to the program, obviously. Great price, great value. 140 is a bit much for flow on this side. <laughs> a bit much? <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh, Stop sugarcoating it, my guy. I'm sorry, it's ridiculous. <sighs> my head. I'm sorry. 
Before we get out of here, another big shout out to the lovely people over at Project Basketball. If you want either the Pro Belts 2018 or the Harden Volume 3, click the link in the description below. Head over to Project Basketball and they will take care of you. And also, don't forget to like this video and comment down below which shoe you think should come out on top and let us know any other comparisons you want us to do. And of course, make sure you subscribe to our channel because we're on fire right now. We're on a it's a good time. Now is the time. Now is the time. If ever, now. And if you was here before, shout out to you. Big love. And lastly, don't forget to follow your boys on the socials at This Is Pure Kicks across the board. It's very important you follow us on our socials. So key. Now we just said subscribe. Yep. Cool. But you're gonna have to hit follow on the socials. Why? It's a giveaway thing. It's a giveaway thing. Because we love our people then. In your best interest. Best interest. So hit follow all over the place. But if anything right now, hit follow on Twitter. We are giving away two copies of NBA 2K Playgrounds 2 on one on Xbox and one on PlayStation. So head over there now, hit retweet. It's safe. 2K Playgrounds 2. Are you joking? No, we're not. So all right guys, there you have it. This is the Adidas Harden Volume 3. These are the Adidas Pro Bounce 2018. We're Pure Kicks. Let's get it. <laughs>